The Joanna Briggs Institute database is an evidence-based resource. To access it from the MySCU Library tab, click on the databases link in the right-hand column. Select J from the alphabetic list and then Joanna Briggs Institute. You will be prompted to log in. Joanna Briggs is a clinical tool and it's used in the majority of hospitals and clinical settings in Australia. Make sure that the basic search option is highlighted and put your search terms in the search box. I'm using hand hygiene. I'm going to search for these exact words. I'm not going to use the include related terms for this particular example. Joanna Briggs produces a range of publication types and the three that you'd use most regularly or with most general searches are the best practice information sheets, the evidence summaries and the recommended practices. It is also possible to narrow your search to specific subject areas if you wish and we'd always recommend that you limit your search to a relevancy ranking either 5 star or 5 or 4 stars, then click on search. The search history and results are displayed below and you can see that our search has retrieved 242 results. It has looked for our terms in these publication types and with this relevancy ranking. If you scroll down the page, you can see the, a bit more of a description about the search in the left-hand column and the results are sorted or displayed by relevance, the star ranking. To get a bit more detail about any of the documents, click on the title. If this happens to be a practical procedure, any related equipment that's required will be noted there will always be keywords included and subject headings. These may or may not be useful when you want to either narrow or expand your search. To get to the document itself, just click on the full text link in the right hand column. All Joanna Briggs documents include a date of publication, and the recommended practice documents are generally fairly brief but they will also always have attached the associated evidence summary. The evidence summary includes the level of evidence for each element of any recommended practice. I'm going to scroll through the document and you can see that the levels of evidence are included throughout. And just a bit further down, the documents will also include the grades of recommendation. Now to understand what these mean, I'm going to go back two screens. And at the top of the screen next to Resource Selected, click on the I link. This guide identifies the various publication types. It lists the levels of evidence, as well as the grades of recommendation. Going back to our search screen, it's possible to do the same search, so hand hygiene, this time using the related terms. I'll use the same publication types and rankings or ratings. Click on search. You can see that this time we have a thousand records. This is because it searched the terms hide hand hygiene as well as, as well as other variations of the words. 
and this may or may not be useful for you. It is important to think creatively about the terms that you use. I'm going to look at hand washing again with the same parameters for our search. And here we have a third set of results. Some of the documents will probably be duplicated in our previous searches but there will be some unique titles here. If you have any difficulty in searching the Joanna Briggs database, please don't hesitate to get in touch with any of your liaison librarians using our Make an Appointment with a Librarian link.